Hello and welcome back to the series on topic modeling and text classification in Python for the purposes of DH. Now this video I've covered a little bit in past videos, uh, but I'm giving it its own individual video here in the topic modeling series because I cannot stress to you enough how important it is. It completely redefines how we assign meaning to words in a computer system. It actually adds to the layers of complexity relatively easily so that we can get computer systems to understand more complex word usages in any given language. This is a concept that exists in all languages that I know of. And we're going to be talking about bigrams and trigrams and multi-word tokens. If you don't know what these are, by the end of the video, you will. So bigrams and trigrams. These are words that are used collectively or in, uh, consistently together that have a meaning that is distinct when used together. A bigram is the instance of two multi-word tokens, so two words that have a distinct meaning when used together, and trigrams are the same thing except with three words. So instances where three words are used together to mean something specific. Now, oftentimes these are proper nouns that are used together, but sometimes in some languages they will be regular nouns. And I think the best way to demonstrate this is with a few very concrete examples. And these are kind of the classic ones that are used. Let's look at sentence one right now. The revolution of the earth, earth takes place each day. Now, in this sentence, revolution has a very distinct meaning. It's coming from the words uh, re, the, the prefix re, and volution, which is, funnily enough, comes from Latin, to, to go around. So to re-go around, revolve, revolere, right? Uh, to re-go around. So it's this idea of a spherical object circulating. I think we can all understand the word revolution here. Let's look at sentence two. We're going to come back to sentence one in just a second. Sentence two, I can read French, but I cannot speak it well. And were I to speak in French right now, I think everyone would agree with that statement. Now here, French is a proper noun. It's describing the French language. There is nothing between the revolution of the earth takes place each day and I can read French, but I cannot speak it well that give us some kind of sense of these words having some kind of attached meaning to each other. I think you all know where I'm going with this next. Sentence three, the French Revolution took place in the early 18th century. I'm pretty sure that's right. I should have Googled it. Um, the French Revolution took place in the early 18th century. Now, here we've used two words that we saw before, French and revolution. Ignore the capitalized the. In natural language processing, the, a, and things like this are stop words that we oftentimes omit from any kind of models. And I'm going to address that in a lot more detail as we start doing examples of modeling and start using stop words. For right now, focus on these two words, French and revolution. Now here, even though they are the same words that we saw before, they don't have generic meanings. When these two words are used together, they have a specific meaning. And that specific meaning is a specific revolution that took place at a specific time. And so one of the things we try to work into models is this idea of a bigram, two words when used together that have a separate meaning from their individual components. French has a meaning outside of the French Revolution. Revolution has a meaning outside of the French Revolution. But when used together, they mean something specific. Now, how do we do this? Well, when we're creating our models, what we oftentimes do is look for words that occur X frequency or N frequency together. If you see two words that are oftentimes used in a high frequency together, then that means that they probably have some kind of common meaning. And we can do this a few different ways, and we're going to see it in TFIDF and the next videos. And we're also going to see it in part three of the series when we look at LDA models, so more machine learning approaches. This is a fundamental concept. But we're not done yet, because sometimes you have words that occur frequently together, and it's not just two words, but three. And this would be called a trigram. The French Revolutionary Army was an army. A very simple sentence. But here, we're not talking about just any kind of French thing. We're not talking about just any kind of revolution. We're talking about revolutionary as an adjective here. And we're not talking about just any 
army. We're talking about the French Revolutionary Army. And again, we're going to ignore the word the. This is an instance where we have three words that now have a distinct meaning when used together. So this is different from the French Revolution, right? It's connected to it conceptually, but the French Revolutionary Army is its own kind of thing. And this would be a trigram. And again, we get computer systems to recognize trigrams the exact same way we get them to recognize bigrams by studying and coming up with a rule for identifying words that occur frequently together. Now, we're going to look at sentence five, and this is just a fun one. The French Revolutionary Army was a French military organization that fought in the French Revolution, and those in it probably spoke French. So we have here an instance of French Revolutionary Army, a trigram, French, a single token, a single word that has a distinct meaning. In fact, here, it, one could argue that this could be a trigram, French military organization, that refers not to something just generically French, but a specific thing. Again, we see a bigram, the French Revolution, and then we see French functioning as its own entity here, as just a generic word that's referring to the French language. Again, each of these instances are examples of bigrams, trigrams, and single word tokens being used in an individual sentence. And notice that I made the case that we could argue that this was in fact a trigram. Again, if we are giving a machine a corpus and this phrase comes up frequently enough, it will be considered a trigram. Why is this important? Well, as we go through everything, we're going to see that when a bigram or a trigram is used, it receives individual vectorization or individual treatment in uh, both uh, in machine learning methods, it'll have individual vectorization, and in all methods, it'll receive individual treatment. And this is because when we see these words in a, in a corpus, we want to flag them as having a separate meaning independent of their individual counterparts. We're going to see this at play throughout this series, and I think it's best if we stop the video here so that we can kind of move forward and start getting into actual rules-based topic modeling and text classification. That's going to be it for this video, though. If, if, if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below. And in the next video, we're going to start working with TF, IDF, and Scikit-Learn.